I'm we are now or I am now in Skopje, Macedonia and I'm a BJJ blue belt, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu blue belt and I want to train at the different gyms here and so just to see how my skills compare to skills in other countries. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Yeah. Alright, this first gym that I visited is called the strongest Macedonia. And these guys are really tough. This is a an MMA gym and I think it's a uh, weightlifting gym as well. And there's two gyms in uh, Skopje that I found out. See, there's uh, the weights over there. And this is one of the no-gi MMA gyms. And the other one is mainly a gi, I think, but I'm not too sure. And so, oh, yeah, there's one of the guys. Uh, he's from Serbia, saying hi. And this guy's a, the coach right now showing the wrestling techniques. He's an Olympic wrestler. And... Alright, so yeah, I'm just practicing the technique and he's kind of showing how to pop the elbow and do a couple tricks before we start going live here. Yeah, this guy is really nice. It's funny, he actually offered uh, his shorts to me. I was like, oh, those are some nice shorts with the Macedonia flag. And he's like, oh, you want these shorts? It was really funny. Alright, so we're kind of the same weight. I think he's about... I think we're exactly the same, like 65 kilos each. Maybe I'm a little heavier, 67. And yeah, we're just trying to feel each other out. Almost got that ankle kick there. And yeah, I like this gym because they, uh, they train heel hooks and so I just started working on the heel hook game and I kind of want to mix it up with my stand up and my leg locks and here I got uh, a little confused because I've been I started watching Danaher's uh, 463 passing system I don't know if any of you heard of that but I was just kind of thinking in my mind how exactly can I use this system right now which is kind of Paralysis by analysis, so yeah, we kind of shook hands because I was kind of acting a little confused. But here, I think I'm trying to go into a leg entry, but he, yeah, as you see that, I try to do a back step. Okay, so. Yeah, I just. This was, uh, I think, a day or two after I landed, so I might have been feeling a little, a little jet lag. But yeah, these guys are really good. Yeah, see, you see how I stepped back into the half guard. I'm trying to work this Danner passing system, but I should have just went straight into uh, the unbelly. Right, yeah, so the time went out and. The bigger gentleman wanted to go with me. Yeah, this guy's really tough. He has a really good passing game. He, he actually is doing the passing that I, I want to learn. Yeah, so. Yeah, so actually the, uh, the, one of the instructors, I think he's the instructor of this gym. He's not here today. I, or I think this is the, the wrestling portion of the class. So that's why we're doing a lot of stand-up. We're doing three-minute rounds of just stand-up. And yeah, I try to do kind of a half-ass shot with the, with the leg trip there. It didn't work too well. But then, yeah, I try to do... I don't know what I try to do there. I think I try to go in for a heel hook entry, but it didn't work. And then here... Yeah, he's just controlling, he's just smashing me. See how he's sprawling over my legs? Really, really hard control. So I try to recover some sort of Z-guard by trying to get this wizard. See how my feet kind of look like a smash the Z. 
and he just smashes over the Z. Yeah, it's not good. And I think, oh, right there, he could take my back because I let go of that wizard. But I think there was a lot of pressure on my shoulder. So I couldn't really maintain that, that wizard pressure. Right, so yeah, he pretty much passed my guard. And he's using his, like, his head like another arm. I remember he was talking to me saying, yeah, that it's, it's like his fifth limb that he uses. This guy's really tough. Yeah, I couldn't really do anything to any of these guys here. And I need to, I need to get better at commentating because I think I don't know if I should just keep talking or on me just getting smashed or what, but I actually don't remember getting this beat up but yeah right there he goes into an S I guess I'm trying to get that arm bar but well that's pretty good he see I'm trying to prevent his knee from touching the mat so I can slip my elbow yeah see if his knee touched the mat that would have really controlled my shoulder but I think also he wasn't really trying too hard to get that arm because if you Probably could have got it if he really tried. Yeah, he just smashed my guard again. Not so good. All right, there goes the time. I like that flag in the background. It's like the Macedonia Brazilian flag, half half. Yeah, so this guy is another tough guy. I think he's one. Weight class up, maybe 75 kilos. I don't know what I try to do there. Uh, I try to do one of those leg entries again. Half fast though. Alright, so now I can start working my pass. Here he tries to invert. Maybe just tries to latch on a leg. And leave comments or let me know if my analysis is not as good because I'm just saying what I think as a blue belt but maybe as a higher level belt I might be analyzing different things so there you go for a good takedown I like that takedown double leg with the with the trip on the front leg and then I'm trying to do some sort of body lock pass I remember so I leave my arm there kind of in danger but as long as I use my elbow to keep the other knee down, still, it's not a good position for me. So I think I decided to pop this arm out. There, yeah, I got it out. And yeah, he stands back up. We start going again. And I would like to train at this gym again. I really liked it here. And Skopje is a pretty cool city. Yeah, we're going into a resting scramble. Really tiring. Probably pretty tired here, even though I don't look it. I gotta work on my legs. That guy's legs are look pretty good compared to mine. I should have gone for something there. My knee. So here, I think I was trying to. I was worried about the heel hook, but he just went straight for a straight ankle lock. Yeah, that really got my foot. I should have just turned out. Probably wouldn't have got the tap, but. I kind of gave up a little bit early, I guess. All right, so he was saying we should work on the feet, or maybe the time's up. Yeah, the time's up. All right, so this next kid, he seems pretty young, maybe 18, or maybe younger, I'm not sure. But yeah, immediately try to go for 
a sweep. I think I was trying to go for a sweep and a takedown, but I ended up in getting a not a perfect position because the guillotine is not as tight from this position. Even though his head stuck, so that's good. His head stuck, so I can end up trying to get a sweep. So I gotta make sure just his head is stuck. Even though the submission pressure is not there, and it's it's good because he's walking towards the side that he wants to be walking towards. So I kind of lock his body, but this is kind of a stalemate position, so I end up trying to push his hip up. But look, he tries to jump over. Right here, this is perfect for me. Now I can sit up, either recover or go back to a guillotine here. But yeah, he gets up on his feet. Alright, so yeah, we're back on our feet. I try to do a little arm drag setup that I like. Now you can see I'm a little visibly tired now. I'm trying to open my lungs up every time I stand up. There, it's trying to get some air into my lungs. Yeah, see, I didn't even scroll on that. I'm really tired. And here, ah, I think I was trying to go for a triangle. See how he trapped his, I'm trapping his thing. Next time I pull that leg out, then yeah. But he's really, really high up. So maybe I should have tried to enter the legs from here. A guard entry would have been really good, but I think at this time my leg lock entries on a C look boom. I could have gone right there, K guard, but I just didn't understand the position. But that's the perfect guard entry, or the leg entry is a K guard from there. Yeah, here, I don't really know what I'm trying to do. There, see, that's not good. I'm just laying my arm out. He could have gone for a flying triangle. It's helped me out. Visible signs of fatigue. So I'm trying to have him pass on my on his weak side, I guess, but he goes to his strong side. There, I'm trying to go for another deep half 50-50 entry. I ended up sweeping him. Yeah, we're just moving now at this point. Up and the time's up. Alright, thanks for watching.